Hello everyone, welcome back again. In this video, I will explain C Sharp Language Integrated Query, Link. So Link is the name for a set of technologies based on the integration of query capabilities directly into the C Sharp language. Traditionally, queries against data are expressed in simple strings without type checking at compile time or intelligent support. So to get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Traditionally, queries against data are expressed as simple string without type checking at compile time or intelligent support. You have to learn a different query language for each type of data source, like SQL database, XML documents, various web services, and so on. So with Link, a query is a first-class language construct, just like classes, methods, events. So as you can see here, I've got a C, I've got a Visual Studio 2019 opened. So we get started by opening a, 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 an empty console application. So if you if you don't know how to open it, we just uh, we're just gonna create a new project. So obviously, on the new project dialog, you can select the C sharp language, or the platform, and all project types. And mostly, it's at the first the first type. So it's a console app .NET Core. So this is what we're gonna use. So you, you click on the next, and you create a new one. I've already created a new one, so there's no need to like go through the whole thing again. So the link family of technologies provides a consistent query expression for query experience for objects that's linked to objects relational databases that's a link to sql and xml linked to xml for a developer who writes queries the most visible language integrated part of the link is the query expression the query expressions are written in a declarative query syntax by using the query syntax so you can perform a filtering ordering, ordering and grouping operations on data sources with a minimum of code. So rather than just talking too much, we will get started. So as you can see, I've got an empty console application here. It only prints out hello world. So we're just gonna put a, so we're just gonna first put on a console.read line here. Okay, to create a link, or uh, the first step of creating a link is obviously to specify the, the data source. So in this case, we're just gonna use an array of integers. And we're just gonna call them numbers. So we just set the value. So we just set the value, it's a new integer array so here we're just gonna put in a couple of numbers so it says 23 34 56 87 85 94 99 and 100 so this this actually this is the specified this is specified data source so the next bit of our link query is to define our query expressions or our query expression so we could say this will be an i enumerable So I enumerable
that takes um, takes an integer. So we're just gonna call this um, num. Yeah. So as you can see here, let we should specify that. So I enumerable is under the um, is under the system dot collections dot generics. So we have to import that to be able to use it. So, so we have to be able to like we have to import the system dot collections dot generics to be able to use the I enumerable. So this is where we actually start writing our our, our query expression. So we could say now um, let's start from the new line from. So here we can say um, a number. So this is the the, the variable we actually attribute in in our, in our query expression. So in the numbers, and here we we're going to put the filter by using the where keyword where the number that we're selecting. It's greater than 70. So we select all the numbers in our selection in our collection that is greater than 70. So we could say number. So as you can see here, now we're getting an error here. So we have to import this bit here, system.link. So we have to also use the system.link language integrated query to be able to use this, this um, expression or this query expression. So then that's so this one is um So this actually defines the query expression. So the next part is actually to execute the query. So we can do that by using the for each keyword. So for each, so we're going to look through for each variable i for an int in the num So now we can say console console dot right line. So we can actually write the number. We leave some spaces. We leave some space. So actually, we're just going to use console right just to put on the same line. So here we're actually executing our query. So we're going to F5 to see what actually comes out of it here. So as you can see, now we've got it running now. Yeah, my computer is running a bit slow for some reason, but of course you get what is going on here now. So as you can see now we've got we've got uh, the results here. So here you can you can see the, the definition of our query expression. Yeah. So we we're actually filtering through this data source. So where where the number that we add in the numbers that we're selecting is greater than the seventy. So if you look inside the, the console, we've actually printed out all the numbers that are greater than seventy. 
So the, the, the query specifies what information to retrieve from the data source or sources optionally. So a query also specifies how the information should be sorted, grouped, and shipped before it is returned. A query is stored in a query variable and initialized with a query expression to make it easier to write queries. So there are many ways that you can actually filter the query. Here we only we actually selected where where the um, the number we are selecting is greater than 70. We can make it here 50 as well. And also we can also use our logical expression. And we can also use and here. And and um, number number is divisible okay we can just put this inside the bracket here and the number divisible by 2 is this is equal to same as 0 so in this case here yeah, we actually selecting all the numbers greater than 50 but also divisible by 2 so it's, it's, that means we're actually selecting even numbers that are greater than 50 so let's run it to see what actually comes out of it yeah so as you can see now when I, when I run, I've only got 56, 94, 800. So we actually selected the numbers that are greater than 50, but divisible by 2. So this is how you can also filter um, filter the, yeah, the query expression. So I'm, I'm going to leave the video here so not to complicate things too much. So, I mean, if you get it from here, so you can try and actually play with it. Go on, go ahead, read other books and examples about this just to keep you going, yeah? So, before I leave, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming. So, have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.